welcome back to my kitchen, my channel, and welcome to The Recipe Therapist. Before we get started, I just wanted to share that today's recipe happens to be for my daughter Dawn, who was just recently diagnosed with stage two breast cancer. It's aggressive cancer, it is contained, but she has to undergo very strong chemotherapy treatments. So as her mom and as her recipe therapist, I do have her on a cancer blasting superfood immune system building diet. And I just thought I would share all of this with you because periodically going forward, you are going to see some of these meals that I'm gonna be making for her. If I can help one or just one of you or more out there uh, who are going through this fight, I'd be more than happy to do it. And today when Dawn returns home from her treatment, she's gonna be so surprised when I give her my pan roasted chili lime chicken breast. It's going to be paired with a pineapple salsa pico de gallo. It's packed with tons of antioxidants, protein, and it's also a natural anti-inflammatory. It's so delicious, she's gonna love it. So let's get started. So I'm very excited to show you all what goes into this recipe. So we're gonna start out with our chicken breast. I have here two large chicken breasts with the bone in and the skins on. For our chili lime sauce, I did make a homemade bone broth, which has a lot more uh, medicinal properties than a typical chicken broth, which I usually use for this recipe, but I'm gonna be using the beef bone broth. And along with that, I also have my organic lime juice that I squeezed before. I have my salted uh, grass-fed butter and some natural raw honey okay that i picked up from a local farm in my area now the recipe typically calls for chili powder but i'm going to be using my favorite chili lime seasoning blend i got this at trader joe's if you can't find it don't worry all you have to do is use chili powder it works just as well now for the pineapple salsa we're going to be using a extra ripe organic pineapple that I'm gonna show you how I cut it up in just a little bit. And we, of course, we have our organic um, grape tomatoes, some lime juice and freshly minced garlic. I have some Celtic salt, or you could use sea salt, some red onions, fresh organic chopped cilantro, and some extra virgin olive oil. Now, for uh, pico de gallo, it usually has uh, jalapenos in it, but in lieu of jalapenos, I like to use just a little bit of some pepper jelly. You can find this at your local grocer, but if you can't find it, you can just swap it out with some jalapenos. So let's start out with seasoning our chicken before we roast it in the pan. So I've done one already, take a look. What I've done is I've just taken some of the salt with the chili powder, and you can see I covered it nice and generously on top, but I'm gonna demonstrate how I did that. So I'm gonna put just a pinch of salt. I'm not gonna put too much because there is salt in this seasoning blend, but if you're using the chili powder, uh, you need to put a little bit more salt. So I just put a little pinch, and I'm gonna take the seasoning, and I'm just gonna go generously right over the skin and the chicken part of this breast. And then we're going to come back and I'm gonna show you how we are going to get it ready for pan roasting in this saute pan. So now that our chicken is nice and seasoned, we're gonna get ready to roast it in this pan. So I've taken my saute pan, I have it over a medium high heat, I put my olive oil in, and now I'm going to take my chicken, skin side down, and let it rest right onto the pan like that. Okay, I'm gonna put both breasts in there. Okay, and that is sizzling up nice. And now that it's going to saute on that side for about four minutes, but now that I have this side open, I'm gonna take a little bit more of my chili powder and put it on the other side. Not as much as I did on the first, because you know, it is a strong spice. And like I said, this is gonna saute up for about four minutes. And then I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna come back and show you how we're gonna get it prepped to go into the oven. 
So it's been just about four minutes and now I'm ready to flip the chicken. I want to show you what the other side should look like. You see how nice and almost like burnt and crispy and brown that side is? That's what we want. So I'm going to turn these, both of these breasts over and I'm not going to let them cook on the other side. So I'm going to shut the flame off just for a moment and I'm going to get my pan here, my glass pan. Okay, and I'm going to transport these chicken breasts into this nice glass Pyrex dish. I have my oven preheating at 375. And basically, I'm going to put this in the oven and let it cook for about 15 minutes till it's just almost done all the way through. I may have to cover it after like five or six minutes. Um, and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna make the chili lime sauce to go on the top in the same pan. But while this is cooking, we're gonna make our salsa. So, delicious. so while our chicken is roasting in the oven, I'm going to show you how I cut my pineapple. But first, I want to show you what it looks like when it's ripe. You see how it's nice and you know yellow here and it's sort of like brown? That's because I left it out for about a week and it's really ready to go. Also, I smell it and it smells just like so sweet like pineapple. That's another indication that I'm ready to cut it. So I'm gonna take it and lay it on its side. I have a nice hearty serrated knife here. I'm just gonna cut the stem off, okay? And then I'm gonna cut the bottom off. And I'm just gonna go down the sides like this, okay? Until I get all the, you know, hard skin off. And then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how I do the inside of the pineapple. So when you're taking the, the skin off, you may have some of these little hard, you know, little remnants of the outer skin. So I just take my knife and I cut it like that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I cut the rest of my pineapple. So I go right down the center, okay? There's a, there's a core in the center of the pineapple. It's a hard, you know, you know, hard part in the middle. So I cut it in half and then I cut it in half again. And then I take that top layer of that inner core out. Okay, like I said, it's very hard. All right, for this recipe, I'm going to need about a half a cup of pineapple. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna cut it into like strips like this. And this smells so ripe and sweet. It's gonna be delicious, all right? And if for those of you that don't realize, Pineapple is a great source of antioxidant, vitamin C, and it's also a natural anti-inflammatory. So it's gonna be great, you know, for Dawn during her uh, meal plan for her treatment. So my chicken's been cooking for about 15 minutes. I made a little mistake. It really has to cook more like 25 to 30 minutes. And I am going to cover it because I just checked it out. Come look. You can see that it's nice and you know crispy on the top, but like when I put my finger here, it's still very soft and raw on the inside. So I'm gonna cover it with my foil, just like that. And I'm gonna let it cook for about another 10, 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna uh, check it and I think it's gonna be just fine after that. So now we're ready to put our pico de gallo together with our pineapple. So let's take a look. I've cut my tomatoes up and what I've done is I've let a lot of the juice from the seeds, uh, I've drained it out of here. So you can see it's pretty much just cut tomatoes. I don't like it very juicy with all the seeds in it. It just ruins the whole flavor. So we're gonna put our tomatoes in just like this. And then we're going to add our pineapples, okay? And there is some juice in there, which is totally fine. I'm just gonna get it, give it a quick mix. Okay, and you can see all those beautiful colors. And tomatoes are a great source of, um, they have something called lycopene in them, which is a great source of um, antioxidant. It fights cancer. They really want Dawn on that for her, her treatment, uh, for her diet plan. So we're going to add some red onion and just a little wedge of fresh lime juice. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze that right over the top. All right. And I have my minced garlic. All right, so I'm just gonna give this a quick mix. A pinch of salt. 
And this, I can like smell the aromas of all the flavors going on here. I absolutely love fresh uh, salsas like this. I make it a lot for the summer and it's just great to throw over fish, chicken, yeah, they just or just eat with some chips. It's just great. And now I'm going to add my fresh chopped cilantro. Give that another quick mix. Okay, and it's really colorful. And now I'm going to add my pepper jelly. All right, I'm gonna start off with probably just like about a teaspoon. This is gonna add a little spice, not too much, but it's also gonna add some sweetness to the tomatoes and the pineapple salsa. And that's it. So I'm going to let this sit for about another 15, 20 minutes, get room temperature, and all the flavors are gonna you know, come together. And then this is gonna go over our chicken when we're done. It's gonna be so outrageous. So I was totally right about my chicken. It had to cook for about 30 minutes. It's nice and firm to the touch. I took it out of the pan that it was cooking in, and now I'm just going to cover it with foil just like this, while we make our chili lime sauce that's gonna go on top. So I've taken the, I'm gonna take right now this pan, or plate I should say, that the chicken was cooking in, and I'm going to add it to our saute pan that we made our chicken in before. I'm gonna get all these drippings out because this is what's going to give that chili lime sauce Tremendous, tremendous flavor. Okay, so I have it on like a, like a medium heat. All right, I'm gonna mix it all around and get all those drippings in. I'm gonna turn up my flame just a little bit to like more like in between a medium high, medium. And I'm gonna add my lime juice, all of that right in there. Okay, and I'm just gonna let this saute up for about another, I don't know, 30 to 40 seconds. And then we're gonna get ready to add our honey. So now I'm ready to add my honey because it's been, the lime juice has been cooking for about a little less than a minute. So I'm gonna add my nice raw honey in there and my delicious bone broth. Okay, and I'm gonna keep this on the flame until it's heated all the way through, about a minute or so. And then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna add my butter and my cilantro. So you can see that my sauce is starting to thicken and that's exactly what I want. So I'm gonna take it off the flame and now I'm gonna add my butter and I'm just gonna let that melt in there. All right, and it's going to really enhance the flavor. And this sauce is done. As this melts, that's like the final you know, addition to the sauce besides my fresh cilantro, which I'm gonna throw in right now. And then we're gonna meet you back at the island and we're gonna put it right over our chicken with our pico de gallo. So this is what the sauce should wind up looking like. You see how nice and thick that is? It's just perfect. I'm really excited to throw this together now. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take this sauce and just pour it over the chicken and it's gonna make like a glaze like that. You see that? Perfect, that honey in there, fresh organic lime with our cilantro, our bone broth. I mean, healthy and delicious. She's gonna love this. And look at our salsa. You see the colors in there? It made that nice juice on the bottom. It's just perfect. So what I'm gonna do is just, you know, top off the chicken with some of the salsa. You see that? Now she can put on more if she like. Um, I know she does love the pineapple in the salsa. So I'm gonna put a little extra on for her. And like I said, she's gonna be really happy when she comes home and sees this. And I wanted to tell you, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Healthy, packed with antioxidants, packed with protein, anti-inflammatories. This is the perfect dish uh, when you're going through treatment or if you're not going through treatment. Uh, thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate all of you tuning in. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications. And I will see you next time to serve up some more love. Take care.